This widow has saved a thousand a month by refinancing her mortgage, which was 15 year into a 30 year mortgage. This is just talking to a client today, recent widow, <laughs> and leaving money to her kids isn't her primary concern. Let's just put it that way, all right? And so she's like, man, she's paying 2,600 bucks a month on her mortgage. She only owed like 240 on it, 230, something like that. But she had a 15 year note when her husband was alive. And so it's cost her 2,600 bucks a month. That's everything. Escrow plus principal and interest. So she asked me, she goes, Josh, you know, what do you think? I mean, cause she loses, remember, she loses a social security. She also lost 50% of her husband's pension because husband had a 50% survival, uh, not a 100% survival uh, benefit, which I always like the 100%, just for instances like this, but I get it. I get people do 50%, I get it. This was a sudden loss. It wasn't something that we were expecting. But anyway, she lost the social security. She lost uh, um, a half the pension, all right? Now she did lose some healthcare costs because you know, he's not paying for healthcare. But that's not nearly the, the, to cover the social security that she loses or the pension that she loses to have the pension. And now she has a $2,600 a month debt on a mortgage and she got a bunch of equity. Still got you know almost twice as much equity. So she's like, but, but now it's just a single uh, income company. She goes, what do you think? I said, absolutely, absolutely refine that puppy. Put on a 30 year note. Interest rate staying at three and a quarter, but you're stretching out another 30 years from 15. And she just did the note a couple of years ago. So she's only basically taking from 12 left on the mortgage or 13 left on the mortgage to 30. Absolutely. Cash flow is king, my friends. Cash flow is king. That extra thousand dollars a month could pay a lot of bills. Now she's okay but I'd like her to be more than just okay and freeing up a thousand bucks a month, you know, because she refinanced her mortgage is freaking 100% the way to go. Anyway, so if, you're, if your cash flow is tight, now we, she doesn't have enough equity to do, I guess I can say she doesn't have, I would not be comfortable her doing a reverse mortgage here. Hey, she's not old enough, she's only 60, but even at 62, the reason I would be comfortable with her doing one is because she still owes quite a bit on the house. And, uh, and she still carry the mortgage and pull some money out. I, I, I don't like that at all. If you're doing reverse mortgage, my my uh, premise would be have no debt to pay back, if that makes sense. So in this case, I, she didn't have enough, I don't know, not enough to make the reverse mortgage valid, in my opinion. Now, I get other people can disagree, that's fine. But uh, she still owed, actually, she owes two thirty nine on a house that's worth 400 That's what it is. So... Yeah, that's not enough cash flow to do the reverse mortgage and keep a twenty six hundred month uh, payment. I, that doesn't that doesn't have any appeal to me at all. But pulling forty thousand out on top of making her payments a thousand is actually going to be about when he pulled the forty thousand out, it'll make her payments about eight hundred bucks a month less. Uh, that's kind of like the equivalent of a, a reverse mortgage. Now she's still got the debt. I grant you, she still has to pay that. But she's pulling forty thousand out. She's parking in cash to go to her other cash that she has. Freaking perfect, man. Got Wellington, the bulk. She's living in Wellesley. Got two hundred thousand bucks in cash, and she. I mean, look, she lives in California. She, you know, spending isn't. It's not cheap out there. She's paying third. What she say? Twelve hundred bucks a month for health insurance. You know, she still got a mortgage. We talked about it. what's going to be twenty six. That'll be eighteen hundred dollars a month because she's pulling forty thousand out. Um, you know, she has other expenses. So anyway, the, uh, the issue that we have to contend with is that the mortgage and healthcare are pretty expensive. So how do you reduce those? Well, you reduce one by refinancing it to a 30 year, but she'll never have it paid off. Yeah. Well, by the time she has it paid off, she'll be 75 years old anyway, man. It's paid off, but I'm a, I'm a, I, hi, whippersnapper. Did you know I have no mortgage? That's great, grandma, but you freaking struggled in the interim. I'd much rather have less of a struggle now and, a, and still less of a struggle in the future than struggle now and have no mortgage in the future when you're 75, if even you survive that long. Anyway, so don't hesitate to refinance your mortgage into a 30-year note if it looks like you're not going to have that sucker paid off for you know, a dozen years or so. All right, love your thoughts. See ya.